A neighbor, Dave Letart, said Card's family let the deer pursue them on their property and was kind, despite the fact that Letart said he had seen Card seem to have had mental issues for quite a while. Individuals have issues, yet you don't anticipate that they should be this insane, Letart said. At the point when we saw this on the news the past night, I was stunned. Thursday that was addressed to her youngster, police said. They said it gave no particular justification for the shooting. Specialists likewise recuperated Card's cell phone at the home, convoluting an examination considering the way that specialists regularly use phones to follow suspects, specialists said. Specialists say Card, 40, who has a weapon primed and ready, started shooting Wednesday with what resembled a rifle at a bar and bowling alley in Lewiston, Maine's second biggest city, around 15 miles, 24 kilometers, from Bowdoin. Card's family members told government specialists that he had tried hearing voices of late and was more centered around bowling alleys and bars, as demonstrated by police who talked about secrecy. At the point when he was hospitalized in July in New York, Card told me. The Cards have lived in Bowdoin for a long time, neighbors said, and different individuals from the family own numerous parcels of land close by. The family guaranteed the close-by sawmill and not very far in the past gave land for a close-by chapel. This is his number one spot. Richard Goddard, who lives outside and was where a pursuit happened Thursday, said of the suspect. He knows how to cover each edge each brush.